In order to open the part in Creo, first array is not displayed. To erase the files which are not displayed, select the working directory. Here we're going to select exercise number two folder as the working directory. Open. Select the part and click open. The crankshaft part is opened. In the model tree, you can see the different features, groups that are created in the part. We are going to create a pattern of the extrude feature. To do that, select the extrude feature. Right click and select pattern. We want the pattern along the direction of the crankshaft. To select direction, choose the axis, specify the spacing and the number of members. Flip the direction if it's not appropriate. Click OK. To create a chamfer on an edge, click chamfer, select the edge where the chamfer is needed, specify the dimension, click OK. As you can see in the model tree, the chamfered feature is created. You can edit it or delete it if it's not correct. We're going to create another one. Click on the edge where you want to chamfer. Preview the result and click OK. We are going to create a hole on this surface. Select hole. On the surface, click, drag and drop to get the references. We are going to drag on this plane. Specify the dimension. Here we are going to coincide with one plane and the perpendicular plane we are going to specify a dimension. Type in the dimension of the hole. The diameter being 9. Extend to next surface. If satisfactory, click OK. Right click on the whole extrude, click pattern. In the pattern, we're going to select axis. Select the axis about which the holes needs to be created. The angle between the holes and 
the number of members needs to be specified. Click OK. As you can see, six holes have been created.